Orangutans. Beautiful orangutans. Hello, Fredlings. This is Claw from Chicago, and we're back with another episode of Fredtopia Zoo. And today we are building the orangutan exhibit. That was chosen by two of our subscribers named Disney and Scary Scary. So thank you so much. And remember, this entire park is viewer built. I mean, not built in that sense, but if you pick the animal that is listed on screen or in the description or in the comments section down below, you it will be in here. So just make sure you comment. It pops up on screen all the time. We're going to be popping them up in a couple minutes. But this orangutan exhibit is by far, once again, I say it every week, it keeps getting better and better and better. Um, obviously, um, I actually do a lot of this uh, different design. So what we did in the hippopotamus exhibit we had two we had a lower exhibit and a higher exhibit but this time we have a a normal exhibit at the height here and then a higher higher exhibit so it's like a new thing but it's not it's actually really cool how it turns out so uh, but these orangutans um i learned after the fact of building this that the orangutans are actually an asian animal so they are put over here uh, i think it's fine because I want all the apes to be in a certain spot. Um, obviously, didn't know that at the beginning. I was going to probably put it in the Asian area, but now that it is a part of the primates or the monkeys area, it's going to stay here permanently because I'm not picking up a whole animal, moving it, making it a new exhibit. Well, at least not right now. So it's going to be hanging out over here for a while, but this is what I'm talking about. Look, we have a normal viewing area, and then we have a wooden above viewing area really like how this turned out and then we have a staff pathway in the back over here i don't think you see me built a staff pathway on camera uh, but there is a staff pathway that connects from this area to the african exhibit so staff members can walk across and here are the i i keep saying its name wrong born orangutan born borno orangutan i don't know it's called orangutan no that's its official name by claw from chicago but uh there is its exhibit here it is looking nice i had to put them in always to see what the heck do they want and um it looks like they want a lot of climbable area and a lot of dirt and a lot of um soil so that's what i give them that's what they want that's what they get we do a little bit of touch up and some blending here from the rough soil or the deep soil and put some soft soil in there and then blend that into some grass just so it's not like um, looks fake so try to blend that in as much as i can and i want to do the coverage first because the orangutans really like trees of course uh, but i'm going to put in some trees that they cannot climb which are these bamboo trees and put down some of these i keep thinking those are what are those bird net uh it's so hard to see you in the time lapse, uh, but it's 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 those uh it's those little ones, and then we put down some bangle, uh, bangle trees here. Uh, so this is um this is done in a certain way so that there is a breakage of viewing from the guest perspective and giving the orangutan some privacy. So I put those in the middle and give a nice section in the back, so it's kind of like giving a. A break it's sort of like a hidden room or a second room even though it's one open exhibit you see how i do it here um when you look into the exhibit it is quite tough to see back there and that's what i wanted to go for sort of giving some privacy for these animals because obviously they don't want to be stressed out and i, I don't want to stress them out either now we do some uh tree work here and some brush here with the bangle trees just so the guests can't see in completely and kind of giving them that vibe that they're in the exhibit themselves you know you gotta have to look over see this a lot in the zoos around my area uh, put some water and all food enrichment items by the windows so the guests can uh, see the animals eat. And then I put one f regular food behind the trees for privacy for the animals. Now, I here's uh, some quick... We'll be going to a live section later on. But on screen right now are the animals for the next exhibit. Make sure you comment down below. Um, but before we get to that, uh, this is the pre-built... Pre um, building for this i have customly done it and i did it quite well because there is no glitching out uh we were, took two prefabs brought them up and then uh i kept adding on uh new and new poles to make this like one seamless uh, construction building i really like how this turned out in the live shots and you can see them here now using it there's a little glitching out right there but uh, that goes away uh, once i uh, fix it 
Uh, but yeah, there's that's I don't know why it's glitching out now, but in the live shots and later on, it's fantastic. But the animals that we're going to be choosing from are going to be the aardvark, the African dog, or the bonobo. This is the last week for these animals. There will be a complete refresh of these animals later on. Uh, so make sure you comment this week for these animals. We might bring them back later on, but we're going to do a complete refresh of them. So uh, make sure you comment down below. They'll be in the it'll be my comments, or it'll be in the description if I can't comment early because usually I'm at work and I don't have time to comment during these uh, uh, videos when they come out. So uh, if you if I if you don't see them, just refer back to this or one of those areas. Um, but this once again, I love this stone structure thing. I was watching Lady Designer, and I'm wish i watched her video that she posted today yesterday when i recorded this because she showed us so many cool tips on how to use rock formations and stuff like that and through the builds uh, with the new aquatic pack which you are hearing some of that music here right now um really like her designs use a lot of her inspiration in this part uh, strangely enough geekism is not really a big inspiration to me on these planets zoo series when i watched him he didn't seem too enjoyful of it i love his builds on planet coaster but uh, the lady designer is probably the by far probably the best planet coaster creator out there today um of course, there's other pe good people as well, um, but I take a lot of inspiration from her, and I try to do that here. Uh, obviously, making my own custom building pieces there using the rock work, um, integrating plants, and giving a nice area for these animals to look through. Um, so here is the walkable area. Remember, the blue is where they can walk, and there's a little green lines on the wood logs that they can walk across, but you can't see that in this time lapse. Now, I copy and paste the exact same uh, structure here from our mandrill exhibit this overhang i think that's all you really need in these sort of buildings considering uh, people will come over here but you know what they're not going to be staying here for a extremely long period of time at least in like average guests so i wanted to give them just a little bit of shade the upper deck i wanted to keep open but i did want to close it off so you couldn't see onto the staff pathway or into the other exhibits um, so we will come through here with a stone wall just a stone brick wall um, so you can uh, have a little bit of privacy get a little bit of shade uh, because like i said in the last time lapse that uh, when you're in zoos you do a lot of walking uh really really like how this turned out wasn't planning on these upper deck but i think we're gonna be doing a lot of upper decks because i watched like i said i watched this video earlier today and they showed us how to do like like just subtle sort of step ups and step downs which would be really useful. I don't know when we're going to do that. Bring this glass window to the top. That is a two-way glass, so a normal glass uh, window. So the animals can see the people. And then we could always change it if the stress levels get too high. Um, but it looks like I just sort of like pause here. Save, of course. Uh, and here we go. We are going to do the sign, which was suggested by Disney. And last time he said, Claude, you need to put some more details around this. So... I do a little bit of work with this by placing down uh, some rocks in front of it. It's a different rock. Um, I think it's actually the same thing, but just colored a different color, which is, I think, the... I think I used the desert uh, rocks, even though it's from Asia. Um, so, uh, do the orangutan uh, sign here with the little drop shadow effect. Kind of trying to figure out a different type of wood type that we haven't used go find this one it's kind of hard to see with this i'll talk about that in the live section in about a minute from now but i still think it turned out quite well uh and plant that on here just so people can see it i that's just it's such a great suggestion i don't think i've ever seen anybody do it in this way uh, so that's why i always keep saying it's so awesome because i don't think i've ever seen anybody done it not saying that they somebody hasn't done it now before we go to the the uh, orangutans themselves and watch them in the live perspective and hear it about a minute i needed to put in some more buildings for staff um, i obviously i'm going to design them and do a lot more custom work here but we add in a uh, a transport depot uh, a nutritionist a veterinarian and a staff room and i don't know exactly what i wanted to do but i do want to try to bring in some of that asian vibe so we bring in this sort of brick roof with a wood sort of modern wood uh roofing um or not roofing i'm sorry walling and it looks quite nice on how this turned out uh i, I really like it, it kind of gives like it's sort of like a a 
sort of a, an older sort of Asian style building, but not. And here's a water drain, by the way. I think this is really cool. We'll talk about that in a live section, but it looks like you, there's so much detail that you could do in this game. First planet coaster. You got all these very minute details, but I wanted the staff members to come over here and be able to sort of hang out and chill. Plus we needed more room for, um, staff members to run around to the other uh, habitats and this uh, building here should be able to take care of all of our um what's it called our primates our monkeys um they should take care of all of their needs and maybe some of the other ones i think even including the hippopotamus uh, there was there was a lot of running back and forth to the main gates and i do not like that uh, but i think this building turned out quite well as uh, I think each week we get better and better in these Planet Coaster videos and Planet Zoo videos. And uh, I'm going to go to the live section in a second. Fred Links, I hope you enjoyed that time lapse of the boring orangutan. And before we go over there, I want to take a look at the last thing we built, which is the Keepers uh, place. Because there was a lot of Keepers and I was looking at a lot of the statistics offline about like where, what's going on? Why is it taking so long to do some things? So... We added in a couple new buildings over here, a new staff room, a new ver uh, veterinarian surgery, a keeper's hut, uh, and I think a trade center. So now animals should be able to be moved quite quickly throughout the park. And I built it here in the back just so uh, we can have some more bypasses for staff members to sort of get into these uh, primates exhibits. But I wanted to start here too to show you the amount of detail you could do in Planet Zoo um, compared to Planet Coaster is that you could literally add, I don't know if you saw this in the time months, but you could literally add your own um, water drainage system. I think that's freaking awesome. That probably doesn't help that much when most of your time is spent above, but uh, it's really awesome. Did a nice little bit of details here, put some silhouettes of some animals, uh, put five or sorry, four here and a little bit of shade. Uh, obviously only staff members can come through here because of the uh, hexagon pathway, but it is a clear cut to go to the other uh, installation if they needed to. I also want to show this one off before we go any farther is I just sort of copied this African mud hut here and I uh, put that around so uh, everyone can do their own thing. So wanted to just show that off before we go into our orangutan habitat. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, if you don't notice, but at the bottom of the screen, it should say the time code. So you can skip around to our live action, which is now, or our glamour shots, or the time lapse again, if you would like to. Uh, that's a cool little feature that I started doing um, last week, and I added them to all the Planet Coast or Planet Zoo episodes. So let's go into the habitat. Oh, before we go into the habitat, let's continue coming down this road. So I put a bunch of bushes here just to sort of deter guests from walking down here. In real life, there will probably be a fence or something, sort of like, you know, blocking this off maybe a little gate uh, nothing too crazy though just maybe like a rope um but here's the orangutan we did a little bit different sign um obviously has a little font here it does kind of blend in a little bit too much um because you know it's the black and white and black and white font as well so maybe we can go back and change that point in the future but i, I like it use a different rock texture as well so it stands out from the other one I did copy the exact same roof over here, but did a little bit of adjustments, but I actually like every time we tell, every time we do this, it gets better and better and better and better. Um, of course, if it's not a Claude from Chicago episode, you always have to forget about the guest in your parks. So let's try to get some benches in here and uh, then we can move on. So technically, this orangutan is technically a part of the Asian uh, area, but I put it over here by this African sort of style thing not actually sure where the mandrills are from i'm assuming they're from africa because i've seen it in the lion king that's my entire history basis of that animal i'm sorry but uh this is technically from uh what's it called asia so i was wrong for putting it here but i'm gonna say i was right as well i want to put all the uh primates or the monkeys in one single area because uh i think it's cool i don't know i would like to see all the monkeys in like one spot so that's why we're doing it here. Put some a little bit of benches down now for the guests to sit down. But I really like how this turned out. We got a nice big glass wall here. And you can see a lot of stuff. Now, this is a two-way glass, so technically they could see you over here. But in theory, what we could do is we could tint this to a one-way glass so they can't see us. And they could pretend like, oh, I only see people up here and there's just this random wall I can see myself. 
That would be a good idea to help de-stress them. But you can see one of the orangutans over here playing with their grab ball. Not doing much with it. Um, got a little bit of plant here trying to give us a little bit of a depth. Sort of feeling like maybe we're in there with them, even though we're not. Um, an enhanced food feeder over here. And uh, a water bowl, which uh, automatically gets refilled by itself. It drips out, which is awesome. I like that. Now, the reason why I set it up this way in this pattern, because, like, if you saw in the time lapse, it's like, why the hell is, uh, like, this here? You can't see them sleeping. Yes, that's the whole goal. I did that on purpose because I don't want the animals to de-stress, and I think it's a good idea in real life. You know, when you're sleeping, you don't want to be interrupted by anybody. So I decided to just sort of block this way with plants here in the foreground, uh, the mid-ground, and the background, or the extreme background. But, uh, you know, block that so you can't really see back there. You can kind of see that there's some rocks and stuff, you know. I don't know what's back there. You know, that's what you tell your kids or your nephew or uh, stuff like that. But, you know, you can't really see through there. You might be able to see them, but a nice little bit of, what's it called, hiddenness. Now, we could do more plants. Oh, here, here, look at this, look at this, look at this. He probably just woke up. There you go, there you go. The bonobo. Why did I just call it the bonobo? It's not called the, the orangutan just woke up. I'm never going to be able to get its first name right, but look at this. By the way, I actually used a pre-build and actually customizedly built some of this myself. The, what he's walking in right now is what I added on. And then the prefab goes up to, like, here, I think. Then I just kept adding more pieces on and on and on. But look at how beautiful he is. Oh, my goodness. How high will he go? I don't know. This is actually the first time I'm watching this. This is so cool. Um, but there's a little ball up there. There's a little bit of an enhanced food feeder there as well. Oh, he's going up. He is going up. Oh, my goodness. Look at that. That's awesome. That is literally awesome. The little girl down here sort of hanging out. I got it's just one male and one female in this exhibit. Oh, my goodness. Look at how much good of a view here it is. Oh, my God. I love this. Uh, he's probably going to. Oh, he didn't. Oh, my goodness. This is awesome. Oh, my goodness. I, I would be, like, running down here as well. But look at it. You see, you get this nice, good view. Uh, there's some blocks here of with the uh, leaves as well. Now, according to the game, this is not a climbable area, these little uh, bush things. Uh, in real life, I don't think I would put anything that close. I still think there would be some sort of drop. But uh, in this game, I put a little bit of a, a drop here so guests can deter from climbing over. Don't think the guests can climb over, but the animals could climb over there was an opportunity. That's something that I always keep forgetting to say in the last episode, but for the orangutans and the mandrills and any sort of animal that can climb, you got to put their climbing exhibits inside in the middle of the habitat, or they'll climb over the wall and, uh, like, scare the heck out of your guests. But I think this exhibit turned out quite well. Comment down below which animal you want to see next. Here are the three on screen right now. Uh, really cool animals once again uh, we're probably going to switch them up after this week because I know a couple of them we uh, kept retiring and bringing back but we'll probably completely switch them up next week um, no matter what so make sure you comment down below I do appreciate everyone's comments and your suggestions and your uh, your great feedback it really helps out the channel so so much and this is probably one of my favorite series considering I spent a bunch of time um, learning about these animals now before we go I want to read some fun facts from okay can you I'm going to move this one because I don't know why it's, like, just standing there. <laughs> like, it, I mean, I don't, I have no issue with it just standing there. But it was just, like, a little bit weird. Maybe it'll run around now. The Borean orangutan is critically endangered. There's about 100,000 of them in real life right now, which is the best part about this game. It's an educational game. Um, and uh, here's a picture of the, the male. They were found in Asia. And uh, here's a bunch of cool stuff, but I'm going to only read the fun facts because uh, I don't want to read all the other ones. Orangutans are orangutans are the only great ape species that do not live in Africa. That's fun fact number one. Orangutan means person of the forest in Malaysia and Indonesia, and they are seven times stronger than humans. So you wouldn't want them to escape. Orangutans are the largest tree-dwelling animal in the world. Orangutans are the only ape species that live solidarity wow okay so putting two of them in the same exhibit is not a good idea i guess uh, orangutans use their mouths unlike gorillas and chimps that use their hands i didn't even know that 
That's a nice fun fact. Uh, yeah, we might have to yeet one of them out of here. No, what are you talking? Oh my god! This is so cute. I'm gonna use this for the... For the, uh... The glamour shots as well. No, I gotta... I hope they do that again. Oh my god, they said solidarity! They're, they're over here looking... Oh my goodness. This is so awesome. Oh my goodness. Getting some water. But this is their habitat. I think it's quite nice. I didn't know they were upset that they'd be... <laughs> Why would they want to be... That was... Come on, that was so cute. Uh, but this is the back behind here. If you were wondering what's back here, we did it so quick at the time lapse. I wanted to put some rock here to sort of show that depth, that, you know, that that planet coaster of me, that movie in me, uh, showing that, you know, this is like a false wall. I mean, you could see the concrete, but it's like kind of... As a kid, okay? You know, as a kid, even maybe an adult, you might look back here and be like, wow, that looks cool. Um, sort of giving that depth there. We could have done this on this side as well, but um, we didn't because I, I, did, I just didn't do it, I guess. Um, there's a little bit of a food tray here, um, so you can come out here and eat. I did want to put the water over here so the animal would come over all the time and sort of drink in front of people. And if that sort of stretched them out, like I said, once again, we can make this a one-way glass so you can look in. Um, but a food tray back here so they want to just eat in, in private they can uh, i put all the food enrichment items over here so obviously they have to come out and uh, play with the uh, uh, not play with the uh, people over here but uh, they can see them but there's a little bit of food enrichment in here so they can like put their hand in these little holes and uh, you know grab out the things but apparently they don't use their hands so i don't know how they get the food out <laughs> i guess i don't know but I think this was a great uh, video slash time lapse. Again, we are going to go into some glamour shot friendlings, so stick around and enjoy that. Uh, next week, remember, on screen right now are the three animals. They're probably going to refresh next week to completely animals you have never seen before. So make sure you comment down below. The one with the most comments on a my comment or in general will get voted for. So um, if, I, if you don't see my comment down below, just comment on your own, and uh, I'll still count that. Just one per person, though. So we'll see you with the next time.